welcome to my channel, hope you've all had a wonderful day. I am Lottie and if you are new here then you should definitely like and subscribe for more fun things to come. Now, you may have already seen me in this outfit, I am doing some pre-filming as I'm super busy with work at the minute. I just don't seem to find much spare time. So I am pre-filming a few videos, um, today's one is my perfume collection video. Now I put up a little bit of a question in one of my other videos asking if you guys would be interested in seeing it and a couple of people responded and said they would so I thought I would film it. Now I have a lot. I'm not going to go through um, the perfumes that are in my project pan, my 6x6 six six, um, or the Audi perfume that is in my gothic project pan. So I just have... I mean, I just have. I have this crate of perfumes, and I have this crate of perfumes. So, to put it lightly, I have a lot. Um, I am. I don't. I'm not good with the descriptive of what it smells like or anything like that. So I'm literally just going to tell you which perfumes I have, how I feel about them. I might give them a spray and tell you what I think it smells like but do not count on my description being accurate at all. Um, so we are gonna go in first with like the body spray kind of things that I have, because I feel like that will probably be a bit easier. Um, so as you guys know, and you will have seen in my project pan, six by six, I have a few Jack Wills um, body mists, um, so that this one does not include the one that's in my project pan, but I have this one which doesn't say it has a scent, I don't believe. Nope, it doesn't say it has a scent. It just smells quite fresh, that one. Quite a fresh sort of florally scent, but I have this one. I also have another just Wills one. Um, it's going to stink in here when I've finished. I don't know, I can't tell. That one smells a bit more masculine. Um, I don't even know if you can get these anymore. And then I've got the English Velvet one. Uh, delicately fragranced with a scent of English Velvet. Um, so there is that one, comes a little pinky bottle. This one smells really nice, really sort of girly. Um, but I do like that one. So yeah, I have my Wills Mists. Um, I got this one... Um, in like a birthday bag thingy that a friend gave me um or it might have been christmas can't remember but this is the body fantasy signature sparkling pink grapefruit um and it really does smell like grapefruit i'm pretty sure you can pick these up from super drug does it say it doesn't say but i'm pretty sure you can get these in like super drug or boots um it is very nice but it is a very strong grapefruity scent so i haven't reached for it but it is lovely so there's that one and i also have a primark one that i have never opened this is brand new it's still got the little stickery thing on it it's the polka scented body mist so yeah there's that one uh i don't really know where to start if i'm honest there's so many we're just gonna go with the first one on top um so this one is a jupe or jupe hom um i think this is the female one because Dre's stepmom gave him this for Christmas and we had a little bit of a Google and it's in like a pinky purpley bottle. Um, it does have a manly scent to it, but it also smells quite feminine at the same time. So I just took this. It smells quite nice. It's, it's a little bit different. I don't love it but as it's here i will definitely use it because i don't like to waste stuff so there's that one um this is the one she got me for christmas it's the me my life my perfume i don't know where it's from um it doesn't say i feel like this is possibly a b and um one but i absolutely love this one it smells amazing um, I really really like it so I am not using it because I really like it um, but I am going to keep my eye out for it when it gets low just in case it is from B&M if anyone knows let me know so there's that one 
Um, you guys, if you've been with my channel a while, you'll recognise this one. It is, it's even been in Project Pans, look. Um, this is the Body Shop Frosted Plum Shimmer Mist. There's loads of it. It's very shimmery, it's very strong and plummy. Um, I think it was one of their winter scents like two or three years ago. Um, I like it. But you know when you just get sick of smelling the same perfume? That's what happened with this one, so I do not reach for it. Um, but we might chuck it in a project pan next year and see if we can get rid of it. So there's that. Um, I have a few Ted Baker body sprays. Um, I have this one in like a pinky bottle. Um, that smells nice. It smells like berries, this one. It smells like berries. Oh, it's a peony spritz. Still, it smells like berries to me. So there's that one. This one doesn't say what one it is. Um, not right, right out my nose. Yep, quite florally again. Ted Baker ones do tend to be quite floral. And I believe this is the same one. Yeah, so the same one. So there's those. Um, I have most of these, oh no, maybe not most, a few of these ones are going to be Avon ones. This is the A Avon, did I say Avon or did I say Ava? They're Avon perfumes, but this is the Ava Truth perfume. Um, and I also have the little, like, ugh little like spray like handbag spray one um ava truth this is called it smells really nice actually it's a really sort of fresh like clean scent i know that's a bit of a weird thing to say um but i really liked it when i smelt it in the book um and i think there was a deal on where you could get the full size the handbag and like a body spray or maybe a body cream for like 15 pound so i got the the set never used either um so <laughs> there's those um continuing on with the avon theme i have the avon luck la vie perfume i really like the bottle of this one um if i can get it off um, yeah, I like this one. It's quite a sophisticated scent, maybe like an older lady scent. Maybe I, I don't know. I mean, I love it and I'm not an older lady, but when I smell this, it makes me think of like an older lady, um, like quite a sophisticated older lady. Let's put it that way. But I do really, really like it. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Uh, let's keep going with Avon because it's easier. Um, next up, I think these are the last Avon ones actually, are my favourite perfumes of all time. Um, so these two are exactly the same. They are the Outspoken Intense by Fergie and then I have the Outspoken Party by Fergie. So you may have heard me talk about it in another video. Avon used to do a partnership with Fergie and she bought out a perfume range. Now, they were my all-time favourite perfumes. Like, I love them so much. They smell incredible. Like, me describing it isn't going to do it any justice whatsoever. But then they discontinued it and you can't get them anymore. Um, well, you can. You can buy them on eBay and there are people on there selling them for extortionate prices. I mean, like, considering you could get these for, like, five to seven pound a bottle from Avon, depending on if they were on offer or not, the fact that people are selling them for, like, 40 pounds on eBay is just incredible. Now, I love this perfume, but I am loath to spend that kind of money um, on a perfume that I knew you could get for five pounds. I know you can't get it anymore, so that's why it makes it rare, but I really feel like people are taking advantage a little bit because no one needs to spend that kind of money on a perfume that used to be pretty cheap um but they are incredible mum actually found a bottle sat 
in her like stocks of Avon stuff um, that she'd put in a box in her wardrobe the other week. So she gave me it. Um, and it is beautiful, but it's not as beautiful as the Outspoken Party one. I don't have loads of it left, which is why I kind of hang on to it. I don't know if perfumes actually go bad, but I love this perfume so much and you just can't get it anymore. So yeah, there's those. Uh, let's go on to the Audi ones because I feel like they're gonna be easier to talk about. Okay, so this is the one that's in my project pan. It's the Freesia and Pear. Um, they look a little bit like, oh, what's the, Jo Malone. Um, they've got like a Jo Malone-esque vibe coming off of it. This one, like I absolutely love their body lotions. Their body lotions smell amazing. The scent is on your skin for the longest time. But this is so strong. It is so strong. Like you need one squirt and you will smell the entire day. Um, I've actually started using this one as a room spray because it is just so strong. Um, so yeah, I have the Free and Pear, Blackberry, Peony, uh, Lime, Basil and Mandarin, Velvety Rose, I have a few in these snazzy black bottles, Deep Amber, and then um, pomegranate. So these I did get in their advent calendar that they did a few years ago. And I think if they bought that advent calendar out again, I would 100% buy it because it was amazing. Um, so if anyone works at Audi, um, and I know one person that does, so if you know that they're bringing out another advent calendar, you need to let me know because I would be super excited. Um, but yeah. I have these and they are beautiful but they do smell really strong now I'm not sure if I'm just not a fan of the Freesia and Pear in a Eau de Parfum or Eau de Toilette or whatever you want to call it um so that's why I'm using that one as a room spray the others might be different but I know they do all have really strong scents so yeah I'll let you know about those ones but there's those just laying them all out now behind me because there are so many um, next up, I'm going to do the little sample ones that I have um, because they are all by Marc Jacobs. I have a few. So I have these little, little dinky ones. Um, so these are only like five mil each, I think, or four mil in some cases. Um, so a few of these I actually got um, as like a Christmas gift and a couple I bought for myself as a Christmas gift. Um, because you can buy four of these like little sample things in a set for I think it's £20. Um, but the first one I have doesn't have a name on it. Um, so this one is Marc Jacobs Decadence. And I'm assuming this is obviously a variation of the same perfume. My only issue with these perfumes is it doesn't have a spray bit. It's literally just like a tippy, tippy job, which I hate. I hate a tippy job because I feel like they're really awkward to use. Um, but yeah, so I have um, two sort of Marc Jacobs decadency vibey ones. Um, I have Daisy by Marc Jacobs and then Daisy Oh So Fresh. I really like the packaging on these. I think they're so cute. Um, so yeah, I have those. Oh, I also have another Daisy one, which must have come in another set. I have the Daisy Dream in this cute little bottle. And then I have Dot and Honey, which I absolutely love these. I think they look so cute. Um, so yeah, I have those. And while we're on Marc Jacobs, let's stick with him. Um, so I actually have Honey in the full size. I actually bought this one secondhand off of eBay. So it was partly used, um, but I love the bottle. It smells lovely, I just don't really reach for it because I'm using up other ones. These tend to sit in my drawers. So yeah, there's that. I also have Dot in full size. I mean, look how mental the packaging is on that. Again, it's another one I bought off of eBay. Um, the lady had used it a few times and she wasn't a fan, so I purchased it. 
mainly for the packaging because I went through a stage of that. Again, it smells lovely. I just don't reach for it. Um, I think after these have probably finished, I will probably get rid of the bottles, even though I bought them for the bottles originally because I have the little ones. Once they're finished, I might keep them for display purposes. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so I have these two. Uh, I also have the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This is like a something sorbet. I'm not sure which one this one is, but this one smells lovely. It's completely different to the others. It just smells really sort of fruity and yeah, nice. And I love the flowers on this one, the different colors just every time. They're amazing. So yeah, there's that one. And then the last one for um, the Daisy by Marc Jacobs line is Twinkle. Now I got this, I asked for this I think, as a Christmas gift from Dre. Um, I think it was limited edition. I don't think you can get it anymore and it just smells great. And I love the bottle. I will keep this one forever. Um, so yeah, there's that. If anyone does keep perfume bottles, what do you guys use them for? Do you just use them for display purposes? Do you do fancy things with them? Let me know because I'd be intrigued to find out. Thank you. Right, then I've only got a few left now. Um, so I have this one. It's the Zoella Let's Spritz Fragrance Body Mist. Um, I think this was from like her first range that she bought out. This one, I don't know why, always reminds me of Free port, free port brain tree, and I reckon I must have worn this or bought it there and worn it straight away because that's what the scent reminds me of. Um, it is a lovely scent. I don't reach for it all that often. Again, not even sure if you can get it anymore, um, but it is a really nice scent. So there's that one. I have. This is probably other than the Marc Jacobs ones. I think this is the only one I've ever bought brand new. This is obviously Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. Um, I can't even smell it. I can't, I can't smell anything. There's too many perfumes in here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's lovely. I think it's really lovely. Um, just said lovely twice in the same sentence. I think there was a stage where everyone was buying this one, everyone was wearing this one. Um, I know if I walk past someone now and they're wearing it, I can tell that they're wearing Lady Million. Um, but yeah, it is a lovely perfume. It does remind me of my holiday to Greece, um, because I wore it there. Um, and yeah, it's just a lovely perfume. So there's that one. Now next up is a perfume I have had for the longest time. And I'm gonna fangirl at this point. It's the One Direction One Moment Perfume. I can't even, like, oh, I don't know if that's gone off. It smells a bit weird now, but I have had it for such a long time. It's such, it was such a nice perfume. Had this like crowny bit on top. Yeah, I think it's gone a bit funny. It's a shame because I have never really used it because I loved it so much. It doesn't smell too bad now it's soaking in. Um, but yeah, I bought this one because uh, I went through a stage of absolutely loving One Direction in secret. <laughs> um, and when they bought out a perfume, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So I did buy it. Um, and I just love it. Yeah, it's mellowed in now and it smells good. It still has a bit of a tinge of a funny smell because it is just old. Um, but I love it. It's amazing. And yeah, I really need to use this up. Um, but yeah, I do love this one. Now, I have two perfumes left. I feel like you guys should have got snacks. I should have warned you to get snacks. Um, but these two are by Police. Um, and there are, there are these gorgeous, like, skull bottles. Um, I have no idea what they're called. I, I'm hoping it says on the bottom. Mavive, that could be it, could be not it. Um, but they smell frigging incredible. Um, so I actually, I can't smell anything. 
yeah i can smell it now this is lovely i bought them from um if you're in the uk then you've probably heard of the shop roy's um it's just a bit of a i don't even know how to describe it if i'm honest it's a shop and it sells like clothes and perfume and food and it's just a bit of a random shop but i bought this one in there and it is lovely and i really really like it and this one i bought on holiday last year um again from roy's and look at the packaging i bought it mainly for the packaging if i'm honest um but it's got all the perfume in it still because again it's one i like and i don't want to use it ah oh, this one smells like just like candy and flowers and it is amazing but just look at it it's so pretty um but yeah i bought them from roy's i don't even know no maviv it has nothing to do with it if that helps anyone it has nothing to do with it. it just says on the bottom so if you wanted them probably gonna have to look out for the packaging um because i didn't keep it but i absolutely love these two they're great but yeah that is my perfume collection um there was quite a lot there really wasn't there in the grand scheme of things um I don't even know how many there is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I have 47 perfumes. That is including the ones in my project pan because they're next to me on the bed. Um, I reckon there's probably a couple downstairs so yeah i have a lot um and i need to get some use out of them hence the project pan there will be another one coming next year to include some oldies um but yeah that's everything for me i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have or had any of these perfumes let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know what your favorite perfume is but yeah, that's everything for me, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.